You're watching Simply Cooking with Sean. If you're new here and you're a lover of food, you're in the right place. So like, share, and subscribe. And when you do, click that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. And to all of my returning subscribers and viewers, thank you so much for your continued support. In today's video, I will be preparing banana pudding. This video is at the request of one of my subscribers, Donzel Cooper. So Donzel, this one's for you. The ingredients that I will be using are heavy whipping cream, whole milk, vanilla wafers, bananas, vanilla pudding, and banana cream pudding. The first thing that I'm gonna do is to get the pudding mixed up. I'm gonna measure out six cups of milk and add it to the bowl here. Next, I'm gonna add the pudding mix to the bowl of milk. And with the mixer, I'm just gonna mix the pudding up. I am using a hand mixer to mix the pudding, but if you do not have a hand mixer, you can use a wire whisk. It takes a little more effort, but it will get the job done. I'm going to set this into the refrigerator to set up. While the pudding is setting up, I'm going to go ahead and peel the bananas and cut them up. Got my bananas cut up. I've measured out two cups of heavy whipping cream and I am going to whisk this to make whipped cream. The addition of the whipped cream is optional. You do not have to use it. Or if you decide to use whipped cream, you do not have to use heavy cream. You can instead purchase the pre-made whipped cream, such as Cool Whip. After mixing it on high speed for a few minutes, when it gets stiff like that, it's all ready. And you don't want to over whip it. So I'm just going to take my spatula and that is all ready to go. So I've removed my pudding from the refrigerator and I'm going to stir that up. It has set up quite well. And I added another package of pudding. This is three of the 5.1 ounce packages of pudding, one banana cream and two vanilla. And I just followed the directions on the back of the package. And I'm just gonna fold this whipped cream right into my pudding mix. Fold it in. Now I'm just gonna start building the banana pudding. And I have two pans here. I'm gonna work on building both of them. So I'm gonna start with a layer of cookies in both pans. And I'm just gonna turn them face down or face up, however you prefer to do them. And I am using uh, the name brand vanilla wafers. However, you do not have to use name brand for any of these ingredients. Store brand works just fine as well. My local grocer just happened to have these on sale. Buy one, get one free. So I took advantage of that. Otherwise, I would have used store brand vanilla wafers as well as the store brand vanilla and banana cream pudding. 
we may all perhaps be surprised to find that those name brand manufacturers may well indeed make the generic products that we see in our local grocery stores as well. So let's not sleep on generic brand products because in my opinion, some of the things that I've tried, you really cannot tell the difference. So let's save ourselves a few pennies and try the generic brand. If you don't like it, then go back to the name brand if that's your preference. And I'm gonna just go over the layer of cookies with some pudding. Next, I'll do a layer of bananas. For this recipe, since I'm doing two pans of banana pudding, I'm using a total of 20 bananas. But when it comes down to the bananas, you can use as many as you would like or as little as you would like. And if your family doesn't like bananas, you can omit them all together. If that's the case, it wouldn't be called banana pudding, but instead perhaps cookies and cream. And I'll just keep building the layers until I am done. Once you've utilized all of the bananas and the pudding, you can leave it like it is, or you can get creative with the top. You can make all types of designs, um, just however you desire to do it. And this is what you have once it's all assembled. Banana pudding is a quick and easy dessert to put together. I will leave a list of the ingredients in the description box below. From start to finish, this recipe literally takes about 20 minutes to put together. That concludes today's video. Like, share, comment, and subscribe if you have not done so already. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, be blessed.